Hello YouTube. Just wanted to make a uh, new video here regarding my Nikon customer service issue video. Uh, turns out after several emails and several phone calls, um, the Nikon MPS team was able to attach my MPS order for the 600TC, uh, my new order for the 600TC back to my original order date. Um, as you can, if you remember from my previous video, I had a, a credit card that was holding my spot for the 600 TC that was compromised, which started the whole fiasco of trying to just call Nikon and give them some updated payment info, which did not work. So ultimately what I had to do was cancel that order, make a new order. And then through MPS, I was able to get it reattached back to my original order date with my new order. So to make a long story short, Nikon came through for me in the end, which I would imagine they would do this for, even if you weren't an MPS member, if you just ran into this issue, um, just ordering something, it, you have to jump through a few hoop, hoops. It's not as easy as you would think just to call in and update some payment info. It'd be great if they could change that in the future. Um, sure would make things a lot less hectic and keep people from worrying about whether or not they're going to lose their place in line. But anyway, I, th I think they would do that for anybody. Just uh, if this happens to you, just uh, call them and contact NIPS, uh, MPS and, and, or Nikon. And, uh, or if you're an MPS member, just stay on them and they, they will work with you. It just took uh, getting a hold of the right people, I guess, and uh, making several phone calls and a, a few emails, but it worked out in the end. Anyway, just wanted to make this short update video and I uh, want to thank Nikon for uh, helping me out there and, and making this uh, a little less hassle, a little less of a hassle, um, but it all worked out in the end. So uh, everybody uh, take care and uh, please like and subscribe if you would. I'd appreciate it. Have a good day. See ya.